For any resident of a metropolis, landscapes with deserted city streets and houses arouse surprise and interest, and these places have become so attractive with the departure of people that they want to settle there again. Today we will look at the amazing deserted cities abandoned by people in various places. Great Britain The city of Plymouth on the island of Montserrat. The island is located in the Caribbean Sea. This island is an overseas territory of Great Britain and until 1995 this place was quite attractive for tourists, with picturesque landscapes of mountains, beaches and vegetation, but all this beauty was covered with a two-meter layer of ash. The fact is that on this island, next to the city, there is a complex of volcanoes Safriere Hills, which means sulfur hills in translation, these volcanoes have been dormant since the 17th century, and people knew that sooner or later volcanoes could wake up, but the temptation to live in such a picturesque place was stronger than common sense. About 11,000 people lived on the island, in the very first days of the awakening of the volcano, most of the inhabitants left the island, but some of them soon returned, hoping that the volcano would cease its activity for many centuries. But people's hopes did not come true, and new and new eruptions gradually covered the city with a layer of ash, today half of the island is completely closed to the public. But lovers of post-apocalyptic landscapes find ways to get there to see everything. With their own eyes. Chinese engineers and builders have repeatedly proved to the world their talent to create copies of something, and they are so successful in this matter that sometimes the copies began to surpass the originals, having lost their obvious weaknesses and leaving all the best. But if you can't surprise anyone with electronics and cars, then copies of cities performed by Chinese builders are really very large-scale and amazing, Ordos, Sichuan and local copies of European cities Thames City, England, Tonghui, Switzerland, Tianduching, France, are some of these cities are not populated. Perhaps the most famous Chinese ghost town is Ordos. The center of the coal industry decided to radically expand in 2004 and quickly built a suburb designed for a million inhabitants. That's just for the first eight years, the population of Ordos amounted to only 30,000 people. Few wanted to go to the empty city. To encourage people to settle in Ordos, the Chinese government took a non-standard step, it transferred some of the major universities to the Ordos Kenbashi area. And since, according to the law, in order to send a child to a university or school, one must have real estate nearby, willy-nilly, parents were forced to buy apartments and move. Now, judging by the information of people who have been there, the situation in the suburbs has become better, the townspeople have appeared. But the city center itself is completely empty. Famagusta is a port city on the coast of the island of Cyprus. Since 1960, Famagusta has been actively developing, by 1970 it has become a very famous center of entertainment and tourism in the world, a huge quarter called Varosha has grown, with modern high-rise buildings. Industry was actively developing in the city, there was the production of food, clothing, transport equipment and much more. The city became a major transport center through which passed up to 83% of the island's freight traffic and up to 49% of the passenger traffic. All this was stopped in 1974 after the Turkish army invaded the island. In Turkish sources this invasion was called the Cyprus Peacekeeping Operation. The Greek population was completely evacuated from the city, the Varosha quarter was closed by Turkish forces and has existed in this state until today. 
The city froze in that time, with empty, but equipped houses and hotels, and on the shelves of shops and in cabinets, in some places, things of that time were even preserved. Chile, the city of Chaitén, until recently this settlement was in a very unfortunate place, in the south of South America, there is always bad weather, icy water, and mountains unremarkable either by huge heights or picturesque forests, the sailors called this place the Roaring Forties Latitudes, here steady westerly winds blow, causing frequent storms, and it's amazing how people decided to populate this territory at all, but the answer is very simple, this place has a very advantageous strategic position it is here that you can cross the chilean argentine border on any transport so the city of chaiten port was very necessary in this place for successful logistics to deliver goods from the pacific ocean to argentina either unload here or go around america and this is a few thousand extra miles the city got its name in honor of the chaiten volcano located nearby 10 kilometers from the bay this volcano did not show signs of life for the last 10,000 years but on May 2, 2008 this volcano woke up, lightning broke out over its crater in the night, scientists did not may explain the reason for this phenomenon, but this is not the first time that before the awakening of the volcano, lightning rages next to it. The eruption that began changed the direction of the mountain river, which paved its way right through the city, people were hastily evacuated, and the city began to be washed away by mud flows and covered with a layer of ash. Bodhi is located in the western United States. This city flourished in the era of the Gold Rush, its history begins in 1859, a certain William Bodhi discovered a large gold deposit near the Lake Mono, various companies developing deposits began to gather in this place, Bodhi began to grow rapidly, various adventurers who wanted to get rich and all kinds of adventurers. The city prospered, 65 saloons, 7 breweries, several banks, Taverns were open around the clock in which poker games for gold were in full swing all night and even had its own red light district. The city prospered until 1900, but due to the fall in world gold prices and the development of the main deposits, people gradually began to leave this place, the railway line was dismantled, the post office was closed, and the city began to slowly die out. Italy city of Poggio Reale, a ghost town in Sicily. The Sicilians are excellent builders, various natural disasters regularly occur on their territory, every century there are several major earthquakes that destroy cities to the ground, but the Sicilians rebuild new cities again and again, adjusting only to the modern style of architecture. But the city of Poggio Reale suffered another take into account, it was destined to freeze in time after the earthquake that occurred in 1968 on the night of January 15, a six-point earthquake swept through the Bellis Valley, the city was destroyed, the houses were uninhabitable, the inhabitants settled in the nearest cities. Today, the peace and quiet of this city can only be disturbed by curious tourists who come on an excursion to see the city, frozen in 1968.
The city of Orduresu-Argelain, located in France, the fate of this city was ordered by the SS in 1944. The inhabitants of the city were shot, and the city was burned. It was revenge and intimidation of the French, for expanding the activities of the French partisans, who helped the Allies in the landing of their troops in Normandy, and diverting part of the German army to themselves. In June 1944, the headquarters of the SS division received a message that a German Sturmbannführer captured by partisans was being held in this village, on the morning of June 10, SS troops entered the city to carry out reprisals. After the end of the war, this village was not restored, the ruins were left to descendants as a memory of those terrible events. Thank you friends for watching to the end, write your comments which place surprised you the most, and we went to prepare for you a new part of the ghost towns. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.